Hey everybody, Jake here, and uh, today is day two of the Atlanta Pen Show. Um, there were many less purchases made. Yeah. Funds are running low, <laughs> to say the least. Um, but we still did get some stuff, and we had a lot of fun. Um, we just got back from the bar. It is packed with people. They're um, testing each other's pens out and drinking excessively. Excessive, uh, excessive drinking, yeah. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and go over what we got for the day. Um, so I guess uh, we'll start with the kind of, not not boring, but more tame stuff first. So Pen World Magazine, um, you may have heard of them, they have a, a table up near the front and you just, they're giving out free copies of February and April's issue. Don't know what happened with March there. Yeah, I was going to say, March kind of disappeared in between. It doesn't exist. Yeah. It's every but, two months. But they have some gorgeous stuff in here. Okay, <laughs> quick, um, let me see if I can find it real quick. So, I'm not made of money. I, I, I know. It's it's astonishing. Um, but there is... It's <laughs> astonishing, guys. It's astonishing. Um, gosh, it's I can't find it. Pin, but basically, um, there the ASC Bologna Extra Arco Bronze Pen, they have some of them here. This one. This, it's... Okay, so it's beautiful. So, I was just glancing at it today, um, and the... The company I purchased the Pelican Ocean Swirl from, Drum Ghouls, um, the gentleman there was like, hey, do you want to test it out? And I was like, no, I can't really. I definitely can't afford it. And he's like, no, 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 try it. So I tried it out, and I just kind of turned to my wife, and she just outright flat told me no. Um, these are twelve fifty. One dollars fifty cents. One thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> um, but gosh, guys, they are just, they're ridiculously astounding. <clears throat> if, if, I, if I had to buy a super overpriced pen, Apart from my Pelican. <laughs> just in the look Josh just gave me. I would get this one. But yeah, these are really cool. They're also offering a discount on uh, subscriptions, I think yeah. she said, for yeah, they one are. and two year. Yep. yep. Um, so these are cool. These are normally $7, but if you're at the show, you can pick these up for free. So that's really exciting. Um, let's go ahead and, while well, we're kind of sort of not entirely off topic, uh, chocolates. So yeah. Brandon Lee, do you have a, his business card now this time? <laughs> I swear to God, I have so many business cards. Give me one second. <laughs> Let me see if it's on the on the flavor sheet. Um, yeah, here we go. It's oh. mod modern chocolatier. I was I swear I have his business so, card. So it's probably extremely hard for you guys to read. Um, this is the flavor sheet. If you want to pause it and take a look, they have just a, a ton of flavors. Um, and they come in these little four packs. They're ten dollars. So very unique stuff here. Um. Apple pie, cinnamon, scotch, habanero, um, some basic ones, salted caramel, um, original dark chocolate, orange, berry thyme, birthday cake, strawberry lemonade, which was actually pretty good. Is that the um, color? Lavender. No, this is the uh, the flavor sheet. Uh, um, ghost pepper. No, that's, that's strong ghouls. What? Um, but yeah, I, I got okay. some. I got some more basic ones. Um, Josh here. About eight. These are four of them. He bought a lot of them. What is, what is this flavor? Because I'm not seeing this on the sheet. This one is actually, um, it doesn't quite look like that. It is, let me see if I can find it. Huh, wait a minute. Who's here? It disappeared. It literally disappeared on me. Um, so this here is the cinnamon, the kind of red swirl. Yeah. Um, this one's the salted caramel, which is amazing. And this one here, I believe, is the oh, apple pie. Oh, wait a minute. This one has... Oh, do you have another flavor sheet? Yeah, there's two flavor sheets. Are you serious right That's now? That's the flavor sheet he gave us in the back of that, but there's another flavor sheet, which like, is what we use. Yeah, Josh stole one off the table. I don't know if he was supposed to or not, but he did. Oh, uh, yeah, I just, I grabbed Felt it. terrible. I'm but, um, person. yeah, these are $10 for four of them. It seems a little overpriced to some people, I'm sure, but they're delicious, I, especially the salted caramel. They are absolutely it's, perfect. It's amazing, yeah. And the cinnamon is very, some of them are very strong. Some of them are not. Yeah, some of them are pretty subtle. Um, the cinnamon was the it. cinnamon was like a punch in the throat. It was good though. <laughs> it, was a, it was a pleasant punch in the throat. The the strawberry lemonade that I had earlier, it was a lot more kind of mild. You could definitely taste the lemonade and the chocolate. Josh didn't think so, but I no, you literally cannot taste it. I, I did. Um, I don't think we'll find it. it. It's fine. It's not fine. If you're at the show, you can figure out what that one is. It's really pretty. Oh, but these these chocolates are gorgeous. He does he does not have a brick and mortar store. Um, he does offer them online, but
but the shipping is a little pricey. I think online oh, it's it's fifteen dollars. Mezcal. It's mezcal caramel. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what he has. That's what he has in the actual. So this one actually has more flavors. It has more flavors, but they're different as well. Yeah, that's odd. That's what he had at the store at the show. Uh huh. Would that be in the card he gave us? Um. Yeah. So his website is modchalk m o d c h o c dot com. Um, these packs are fifteen online and fifteen dollars shipping. Um, right now, in the actual um, yeah, at the venture, they're only ten. Yeah, and also, $10. he's he said if you're in the Atlanta area, he wouldn't mind meeting you to avoid that shipping. It does have to be shipped that expensively though, because it is chocolate yes, and it has to be shipped before it melts. Okay, all right. Um, to move on from the chocolate, let's go ahead and talk about some notebooks because Josh went a little crazy. Just nine. <laughs> Just he only bought nine notebooks. Would you like to talk about them a little bit? Here, all the other stuff you went to. I have no clue to talk about because it's literally it's all field notes except for maybe that one. So that um, supply. he was looking for a pocket <laughs> notebook, and I recommended field notes, and he just got kind of this like plain one. And then he saw the field notes East Coast. Oh, it's so pretty though. Look I, I was gonna purchase it, and he just like snatched it up. And he's like, "This is amazing," and he bought it. And they only had one. So they only had one of them. Literally only one. But they're gorgeous. Um, do you want to show like the reticle? the grid pattern inside. So instead of the normal like dot grid or anything like that, here we're going to, we'll go ahead and arrange these two. Let me move this one because it has my name on it. So you can see, I'm not sure if this is all fitting in frame or not, but you can see it's the whole East Coast, which is just gorgeous. Yes, um, it's really awesome. Here's South Carolina, where you're we from. Um, so that's exciting. Florida. Florida's down here and then the whole, I don't know what's up north. I'm, yeah. I'm not a geologist. But yeah, they have these really pretty reticles. They go from kind of green here um, to like blue, to sort of blue green. A lot of really interesting stuff um, inside of these. They're very, very well made, and they're 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 beautiful. They are. And he also got a, a plain pack of field notes. This is just the standard um, mixed pack. So you got a graph, a graph notebook, a rule notebook, and a blank. So it'll give you some kind of variety. And do you want to talk about the last one a little bit? Okay. So this last one's actually from one called uh, Story Supply. <clears throat> um. I don't even want to say too much about it. He only made so many of them. Yeah, I think, there, I think right there's here, 300 of them, and he yeah. brought 30 of them. So he actually numbered them here. This is number 25 out of 30 itself. Yeah, because the label is for the larger size. The label's size. for the larger one. It's not, not for the small one. ones, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about the Ithaca thing a little bit? Yeah, so Ithaca is actually um, Greek mythology. It's the whole reason why I purchased it in the first place. It's because I really do love Greek mythology. And... Um, I don't want too much I can say there. I don't want to go into like a huge ramble. They're um they're very interesting. So they're it's a navy notebook with bright orange binding, yep. and it contrasts so oh, okay. well. I'll put it back. It's fine. But yeah, it's you, actually it's absolutely yeah. You can see there. the binding. Um, what is the are this graph on the inside? These are yeah, oh they're, they're dot grid they're dot grid yeah. dot grid. Okay, that's perfect. I actually need to try one of these out because I might buy a pack tomorrow if they're not all sold out. Um, but yeah, he said there's a lot of stuff about the um the Ithaca thing in here. So it's, there's some writing on like the first page, on um, protagonist, plot setting, alas, what will become of me? And then back to the story supply is a craft stationery designed, a design firm devoted to create and selling analog tools that help people tell their story and storysupply.com, or storysupplyco.com. But they're very interesting. The paper is, um, it's a little thinner than Field Notes, but I yeah. think it's a bit more fountain pen friendly. You know, Field Notes is a slightly absorbent, so. I definitely want to try one of these because I'm looking for a pocket notebook to go in my knot case um, that I purchased. So I'm, everything has to go back. I'm probably going to try one of those and then maybe buy them. I'm also looking at the Loitch term copper because they're really pretty. But um, so we have those. Um, on to some inks. I'll, while Josh is packing that up, I'll go talk about what we got. So my wife actually bought some. I didn't buy any today, but she got Pilot Orochizuku Kosumosu. She's asleep. That's why she's not in this one or laying down. But um, we have Kosumosu, which is a beautiful pink color. It's vibrant. It's amazing. Um, I really look forward to reviewing that. We also got Sailor Fuji Musume. Um, I'm, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that close to right. Um, so if you've seen my Bung Box reviews, these are the same bottles. But this is just uh, an amazing lavender color. It, it's beautiful. Um, so I'm looking forward to reviewing that one as well. That Those will both be coming up pretty quickly. I'm swamped with ink reviews. <laughs> over these next few weeks, I'll tell you that. And if I remember correctly, she said we're not buying ink for about three years, which I think is a bit of an a bit of an exaggeration. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. You have to run out first for any more, Jacob. 
I will never run out of ink. I think I have enough to last me more than a lifetime. Do you want to talk about the uh, the ink you got? I will go back down. Also, um, if you were interested in the limited edition colorverse, the um, oh my gosh, what were they called? Voyager. The Voyager series. Yes. Um, I believe the only ones I saw here that had it was were Van S. They are all gone now. Um, as yeah. of what, like three, three p.m. I didn't see any more there. So that's that's. No, we that, were down there. At one and it was gone. Oh. Well, when we went down there the first thing this morning, there were still five of them. But Josh got uh, another color rush because he has a problem. Yay! Which one did you problem. get, Josh? I have the Series 3, the Extra Dimensions and Warp Passage one. So this is from the same series <clears throat> as the Schrodinger and Cat. It is. It's the, uh, the two different colored bottles. Yeah, so it has everything he has as well. The stickers, all the little, little cute stuff. It's really stuff. nice. Yeah. Of course that. And unlike him, I actually did get... You got the correct uh, bottles. I got the correct bottles. <laughs> so um, if so you're curious, bottle? here is the um, the extra dimension, which is large bottle, <laughs> and then the warp passages right here, which is the smaller bottle, which is just kind of a lighter blue. Um, they're yeah, very cute. You can see it's slow. Yep. I seem to that. They're very, very interesting inks. They're very pretty. I'm seriously considering picking up the, uh, the gluon and photon, but I have so many inks that are just about this color that I don't think I can justify it. We'll, uh, I can justify it. We'll see how I feel about that tomorrow, I guess. Last thing before we just kind of discuss the show in general. Josh finally got a pen. Oh my god. Um, finally. It's a surprise. It, it's a days. surprise. Yeah, he got him a Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl as well. Because he also, oh, make, yeah. he also makes bad financial decisions. I also make really bad financial decisions, don't you know? No, I got this Regal. I'm not 100 sure what it is exactly. Uh, let me. I was gonna say let me get my phone and look it up, but I'm recording with it. Um, I'm gonna borrow your phone for a minute. Go for it. Wait, wait actually, hand me that phone. Hand me that phone. Yeah, unlock it. I have, actually, I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> but yeah, um, so Regal, I've seen some of their stuff on like Mass Drop and stuff. So I, I don't know a lot about the brand. Um, just Regal. I'm not sure the value is quite there for me, but you guys know I, I praise Twisby pens all the time. Yeah. But for the money, it's not a bad pen. Um, this is the one I purchased. This is the rose gold color, right? Yep. This is the rose gold one. The only thing I have a really big problem with is it came with a dent yeah. that I didn't see. Yeah. So um, normally, like a little baby dent. Um, when you buy a fountain pen, you test one, and the one you test is the one that you buy, generally. Um, mm -hmm. So you can kind of see here, right there, there's a dent um, in the pen and a little scratch right beside it, which is somewhat disheartening, but Josh said he was fine with it, so... Um, the texture though feels very much like the Lamy 2000, a little bit sharper, not still not sharp, but a little bit more grippy, I guess, um, just because it is aluminum instead of the Macrolon. Yeah, it's a Cambridge. A Cambridge. A Regal Cambridge. Regal Cambridge. Yeah. Um, pretty thin section. I'm not a big fan of it, but Josh is left-handed, so I think it fits him a little bit better. My handwriting is. The way I hold pens is all kinds of yeah. messed up. So do you want to show them how you hold it? Like, hold it like you're going to write on paper. So literally, it's like this. Yeah. And it's turned sideways. So it's a little a little wonky. So yes, it's a little wonky. But um, it's very smooth for me. Yeah, so it doesn't have a nib size. Which is very <laughs> weird. It's one, of those, it's one of those 18K GP nibs, which is interesting. But um, very stiff nib, I will say that. Um, and, but it did come with a converter. A very smooth converter, actually. And you have this inked up with was it is it warp passages? It's, um, no, or no, extra no, dimension. Extra dimensions. extra dimensions in this. Yeah, one. because warp. I use the one with the little ant on it. It's, it's extra dimensions. Little, little, the little ant. The little ant. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty nice pen. Um, and it does have a hinge clip too, which is I just tried to push that. Okay. Yeah. Hope I don't break your pen. Uh, I'll buy you another one if I do. Um, but it does have a hinge <laughs> clip on it, which is interesting. Um, it has a little bit of wobble to it, but it's not altogether that bad of a pen. I really like the color quite a lot. But I, I, I was I'm super into color. rose gold, though. I'm sure you guys know that by now. But um, we'll go ahead and put some stuff here on the table for you to look at while we talk just a little bit, uh, kind of about what the second day of the pen show held. A lot of headache. A lot of headache. So today was a little no, rough. A lot of um, <laughs> so I went down to the Ryan Crusack table again to look at the the scrimshaw pens, and I really thought about it and. I just can't justify it, so I think I'm gonna walk away with something just a little bit less expensive. I think the one I was looking at was four fifty, and after spending about five hundred dollars on a Pelican, I'm you know not really that into yeah. buying another pen that's quite that much. Um, so 
that's that's a little rough. Um, are you looking to get anything else while you're here tomorrow? I think I got most of what I wanted. Main thing I was coming here for was the filled notes. I wasn't expecting one to get this pretty though. Yeah, those just came out. Absolutely beautiful. And there's still the West one. If it's still there, I'm probably gonna grab that one. At at Van Ness, yeah, Van Ness had one of each. Yeah, and I Um, wish I would have grabbed it when I had it. I wouldn't be surprised if it's gone, but you can still buy them online. (laughs) Um, I know Goulet has them. Um, you should talk to Brian while we're here and get a hug up. Oh God! I don't. I don't think. I don't think he caught that. Let's. If so, if so, I'll chop it out. We'll we'll, we'll edit that one out. Um, but um, <laughs> just dying over there. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get some more ink. I still need a pocket notebook. I really want to try out the Ithaca. Probably gonna do that tonight. Um, I just want something that's not quite as a bit more fountain pen friendly than field notes. Um, how do you like the field notes? Have you actually wrote in any of them? No, they're all. I wrote on the cover of this one, and I felt bad for writing in it because it's so pretty. <laughs> So beautiful. So I like, a lot of people just like those. Beautiful. I know they're, um, they're ugh, absolutely beautiful though. There's some like the lunacy. So, I really wish I got them all that. I'm so scared to actually write. They have a subscription service, sure. by the way. Not that you That's need awesome. that. Not that you need that. Not at all. that you would just tell me that I just like <laughs> buy a ton of filled, ton of filled notes. Um, but yeah. yeah, it's there's there's so much to take in. I think is my problem. <laughs> um, I looked specifically today at the Pilot Custom Eight Twenty Three. Which I've heard recommended all the time, and it wrote amazing. I just I don't know. It's so hard to make a decision. I also tried out the Sailor 1911 Tangerine, um, large. But my problem with it is I use a zoom nib. I don't like the zoom nib. That was. I've heard it's a little not super smooth, but it, it actually was. But it just it the line width was just way too way too wide. Even when I uh, tipped it almost completely vertical, it just was it was just too wide for me, and I. I'm, I'm buying my Pelican, which is like, it's supposed to be medium, but it's like a quadruple broad or something ridiculous like that. Um, um, oh, you have a vintage pin repair thing. Yes, so, I grabbed a bunch of these things because I was like, you know what, we're not going to do this again. You get, you get cool stickers? Yes, I, I got the stickers, yeah. And then I got like little cards. And- See, now you make me feel bad because you, you got the crew sack, um, the crew sack card. I really want one of those. One also, those. Jonathan Brooks. Um, I saw. I looked at. I told this, you guys just yesterday, but his pins just got I mean, gone so quick. Um, so I'm really excited to get something made from him. Um, oh, you got one of these as well. So this is Knock Co. In Japanese, my wife. Um, she studies Japanese. She speaks Japanese a little bit, and you know, is still learning it. Um, so she got one of these stickers yesterday, and. She she freaked out when she was like, "This is just the best thing ever." I need to get so, more box stuff because I don't think I got anything. That's really sticker. cool. Yeah. You should you should definitely get the uh, the pink and blue knot case that I wish I'd gotten that I literally didn't see, and then you should donate to me. Um, I legit thought you were joking when you said that. So I was like, that's stupid. Yesterday I got the uh, cross the Crossfield uh, Nanami Tomoe River notebook. This is a an A five. I saw today that Notco has the A5 seed case in lavender, and I want it so bad. So I might cool. pick it up tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and maybe instead of ink, maybe instead of another bottle of ink, I'll, I'll get that. <laughs> because if I got another bottle of ink, it'd be Colorverse, and they're like forty dollars. <laughs> With another bottle of ink. <laughs> With another bottle of ink. With another bottle of ink. Um, so I think I have enough ink, but I think I might get that. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But I love the color. They're really nice and. Um, these notebooks are astounding. My wife has been using hers for her Japanese for kanji practice, and she's she's really impressed. She was kind of freaked out though because the Tomoe River paper takes forever to dry, so that that was perhaps pretty entertaining watching her experience that for the first time. Um, medium nib. Did you see anything that caught your eye today? I mean, outside of these lovely filled notes that I need to buy more <laughs> of. Definitely need to get more of those. I need to get so many more of these. Um, I have I some of the Valentine's Day editions. I have two of them. I'll let you have them when we get back to the house. Yay! The, just... You could only get them on Valentine's Day if you placed an order. They were only for free, so you can't get them any other way. Oh. Um, but yeah, there. You you need to pick up the the West Coast if you can get it. I do need to pick it. Yeah. And then they'll then they'll do like a mimal version, and then a whatever's Central in the Midwest, America. <laughs> Central, Central America, America. <laughs> Central America's continent. Um, 
It's not gonna have any. It's not gonna have any of the coats. It's just gonna be. It's just gonna be just this with like the gold lines exactly. in it. it These are so those beautiful. are just so beautiful though. They're amazing looking. Yeah. Um, but this ink show has just been super overwhelming. I've seen Brian Goulet around. I've been way too nervous to say hello to him and tell him that he is pretty much the sole reason that I'm um, not as financially stable as I could be. Because I could be in, I could I could be investing in stocks or adding all this money to my four hundred one k or doing all this stuff, but no. Um, but I've had a blast. It's been amazing. Um, the hotel is you know pretty nice. The staff is very friendly, very helpful. Um, there's literally like a McDonald's, a Starbucks, and a Waffle House, which all mixed together, which we have all visited here. today. I think Josh went to McDonald's earlier. We yes. just came back from Waffle House. And first thing this morning, Andy was like, I have to get coffee. She has a problem. So we went over to Starbucks. And um, it was really exciting, though, because they were playing a Father John Misty song. And I love Father John Misty. Um, <laughs> hit, wink, wink. <laughs> hit, wink, wink. Um, but they, there's just so much here to take in. There it's, really is. And there's a ton of people. Yesterday, there was a lot of people. Yes, yeah, Saturday. But today, today has been, slammed. like, you can't walk through some of the rooms without literally just running into people. Yeah. And it's very... Awkward, very sweaty. A lot of people are sweaty. It's <laughs> a bunch yeah. of sweaty people. <laughs> it's a bunch um, of sweaty people. Oh, so the the brown Arco pen that I was talking about, I found an Omos rollerball in green Arco. If it hadn't been a rollerball, I would have bought it right then and there because the guy was asking like two fifty for it, and I I was just I would have like thrown my credit card at his face, <laughs> like give yeah, me this pen. It was beautiful, but um, yeah, it wasn't. It was sadly a rollerball. Not, nothing against rollerballs, but I'm just not paying that much Everything for rollerball. Against rollerball. Everything is rollerball. There's, there's go to Target or Staples and get a rollerball. Home. Also, there's a a, um, a raffle going on. You can enter for free up near the front. Don't do it because I want to win. But you can win. <laughs> a, you can win a um, gosh, what is the brand? A Conklin Crescent filler oh, so isn't it? made it's entirely out of sterling silver. I think it's worth like sixteen hundred dollars, something crazy like that. Also, oddly enough, you could also win a GTX 1050Ti. I think it's the EVGA brand. It is the EVGA brand. Super, super clocked or something yes, like that. Yes, it's super, super clocked. Um, Which, I mean, is cool. I want a graphics well. card, but the prices have been so high lately because of the mining. Josh here actually has a 1050Ti, that exact card. Hello. Does it's, it work pretty well? It works fairly well. Okay. Yeah. I, mine's been having some issues with Final Fantasy XV, so I'm, I'm kind of... I don't really have that many issues. If I keep my computer on for like three or four days straight, it has issues. But that's um, because I keep it on for three or four days straight. Less, yeah, don't, don't, yeah, do, that, don't guys. do that. That's stupid. <laughs> don't be me. But yeah, I think that's going to about wrap it up um, for me at least. Was there anything else that you wanted to talk about at all? Mm, not off the top of my head. Maybe clear out some of the rooms for tomorrow, please. Yeah. I'd love to be able to walk through without touching Walking people. through. So my goal, we're going to go eat at the Highland Bakery because they have peanut butter French toast, and that sounds perfect. Don't roll your eyes at me. So we got to get up pretty early to go do that. If you want to, actually, I'll let you sleep in, and we'll just go. Um, yeah, please do, because I, I'm going to die if you want I eat. To, okay. I will die if I eat. Okay, we'll let Josh sleep in while we go get breakfast. Um, but then I'm heading down to the pen show like, as soon as it opens. I'm going to test out a few more things. I found an Omos that I like a lot. Didn't see a price on it wasn't anyone talked to at the table. So I gotta go back yeah. tomorrow and try that out. That was a little odd. But it's a vintage Omos, so I'm a little, I don't know. Yeah, there was some tables there today that didn't have it's anybody. completely they, unattended. They were unattended completely. And it's like, why, why? Yeah. Why? Also, if you guys have watched This Week in Ink 4 or 5, I think, right. I mentioned that Visconti that is made out of marble and sterling silver. They have two of them here. So if any generous donors want to give me about $2,000, <laughs> I would love to pick one of those up. We're going to start a Kickstarter for this pen. But um, I really actually thought I'd be a lot more nervous holding the um, ASC Bologna Arco Celluloid pen, the $1,250 one. Yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't. The nib was amazing, though. It's <clears throat> very springy. Well, seeing as you didn't want to hold it in the first place, and dude's like... Yeah, he, he just kept... He, he just try it. Just try it, man. Just try it, man. I, I wonder if he thought I would actually buy it. I would have if my wife hadn't been here. No, I, I wouldn't have done that. But um, maybe one day I'll... A fun conversation to have I'll later. snatch one up. Oh, yeah. I would love to go home and explain how I bought, with tax, a $1,300 pen. That would go, <laughs> that would go over so well. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, it's been fun. I apologize about the upload time for the first video. So, it I accidentally shot it in 4K for who knows what reason, and it split it up into like 
three video, three, yeah, three, or three four segments. Videos. It was... And then it, I also shot it in portrait mode, so I'd re it, was, it was such a pain to do that video. So this one should be easier. I'll try to have this actually uploaded tonight. Um, again, if any of you want to meet up, um, tomorrow I'll be wearing a blue Father John Misty t-shirt. If you see me, and also black pants, and I will have gray Converse's on. Um, the most nondescript person in this building. I will also have a bag. It, it, His nutsack out. Yeah, I'll have my, my nutsack bags. <laughs> satchel bag. It's the, the mini satchel. Josh is... That was not that was not PG. I'm, I'll have my nutsack bags, mini, uh, the satchel, and it's just absolutely covered in buttons. So if you see somebody with just a ridiculous amount of buttons pinned to... The, oh, oh, yeah, Josh has a... Josh has a, a hold on, it might not be able to fit on the okay, frame. Well, if you see if you see me with this bag, it's it's my bag. Walk up to me and say hello. I also have my my, my fountain pen day pen, which I just realized is upside down because I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, feel free to say hi. Um, I don't think we'll be staying at the bar tomorrow. I'll be here till about four when they draw because I want to see if I won oh, a, a, a sixteen hundred dollar that. pen. That'll be real nice. Um, but yeah, uh, feel free to say hey. I will. Tr I'm gonna try as much as I can to stay around the show because it's the last day. Um, today I get to, didn't get to say as much. We had to go get lunch. I'm just gonna let them go get food tomorrow. I'd rather starve than be away from my pension. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay there and probably starve to death. But um, yeah, stop by, say hey. If you're in, if you're at the show, check out all of these things. They're all pretty amazing. Um, and I hope if you're here, you have a great show. If not, I hope you're having fun doing whatever you're doing at home. Um, if you're keeping up with these videos or looking forward to these, I hope you're enjoying them. I'm trying as much as I can. I'm also gathering, <coughs> excuse me, a small clips of footage and pictures to kind of put together to kind of give you uh, a show. If you're following Fig Boot on Pins on Instagram, he has some short clips that are really nice and they kind of give you a good layout of the rooms. Um, but there's a lot, lot, lot going on. A ton of vintage pins, a lot more than I thought there would be. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm rambling at this point, so I'm gonna go and cut it off. But um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to check out yesterday's video if you haven't already. Um, and feel free. I should have another one coming out tomorrow. It might be a little strained, a little short, because we're going to be heading back home, which is about a three- or four-hour trip, depending on yeah. if we stop for food. So, um, yeah, and I'm also taking Monday off work to kind of do some video work. So I should have something really nice for you guys. Or I'm going to try to. It may not be as good as I want it to be. But thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to check out my other stuff. And if you're at the show, stop by and say hey. Thanks, guys. Bye. Peace.